ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome! It's time for another exciting edition of The Wizard of Pamela the Movie! This is the exciting new show where we tell you what we thought the latest movie. That way you know better than to spend your money at the theater, or just wait until it comes out on cable. This week we're going to do a, an edition we're incredibly excited about, because we're going to tell you about the top 10 best movies of the 20th century. Wait a minute, most of the people weren't even alive about the 20th century. How they know what we're talking about? This way they won't know for the camera time. Chat chat. The first movie on our list is Shrek. For a bike fire that they burpy. We picked this one because the monetary calendar a lot of great jokes in it. We picked this one because it was nice a good fantasy story. Number five on our list is Star Wars. Do you say more? Number four on our list is Star Wars. Do you say more? Number three on our list is Star Wars. Do you say more? Number two on our list is Disney's Matthew's Monster Day. This is spelled a couple of monsters be able to little girl named Boo and it's up to them to get her home. Meanwhile, the corporation wants to collect screams. This is called the Cinematic Art Fight. Not only that, but watching monsters travel the world is real hoot. Exactly. And the number one film on our list, none other than Pamela Goes to Hollywood. What? This one is a new film written and directed by none other than yours truly. Sorry, that's one of the finest films ever created since we were brothers. Crank out during the moon. Very Captain J. Jones and Trevor and William and Pamela. Wait a minute, there's no such movie as Pamela Goes Hollywood? Not yet, but I got a lecture with Jim Gilbert. I'd like to tell us about California, here I come. Well, I guess we run out of time for the day. By the way, folks, what's are not hiring you to thank him? No free is necessary, we'll trade. Bye for now, I'll see you next week on The Wizard and. Oh, I hear Captain Lee Gifford needs the job to make all the work fall.